story you've got for me. <laughs> oh, just this, this one of my favorite things that I remember hearing about. Uh, there was this fucking British pilot, right, who was uh, going up, like, you know, over, over Britain to shoot down this German bomber, right? Okay. And apparently at the, this point in the war, the Germans had for some idea thought it was a good idea some reason it thought it was a good idea to put right. fucking flamethrowers on their bombers as a defensive weapon <laughs> to shoot down airplanes with. What? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. No, but they fucking did it. <laughs> it's just, just put a fucking flamethrower on the tail of the plane what and the and you just aim it like a little like gun turret or whatever. <laughs> but uh, as was common with German technology, it didn't fucking work properly. Well, of course it's... Uh, well, yeah. So this, <laughs> this, 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 this British pilot is, is like... Shit, the baker's eat who's going to watch this was the name <laughs> of the VHS tape. <laughs> is this the, the card game one, or...? No, this is uh, this is that bedroom with the clock. Oh, oh, this one. Got it, got it. Yeah, so this fucking British pilot is coming up behind this German bomber, right? Right. And he sees this little gun turret kind of swivel towards him, and he's like, oh, shit. But then it just spurts a stream of oil at him. Because they couldn't fucking rig it up properly, so it doesn't shoot even, like fire like a flamethrower is supposed to. So the oil just splatters all over his fucking cockpit window, and it's actually sort of effective because now he can't see. <laughs> so he's just flying blind for like a couple of minutes, just waiting for the oil to like slick off of his fucking cockpit window. Oh my god! And then uh, it finally kind of does, and he he kind of turns the plane around, and goes back back after the bomber. So the Germans just start throwing dudes at him. Like, a little doorway, and the bomber opens up, and a dude just gets tossed out the fucking door just straight out of his plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it, is, it, it is... Oh, shit, dialogue yeah. options. Yeah, yeah, well... It looks delicious. Yeah, I, I think you have to be... I didn't actually see what the food was. I assume it's a plate of worms. Oh, it's like... It looks like Russian food. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Is there anything else to eat? You don't need nothing else. Now eat your goddamn supper. <laughs> uh, this is a nice uh, heartwarming yeah. care here. All right, so we we don't have to fuck with this like too much or like beat it necessarily. Do we gotta eat the soup? Can I force him to? Can I, oh God! I can't. He he does eat it. Yum! Tastes like Vaseline. <laughs> uh, that's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> it actually <laughs> caused damage. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, this doesn't. Do, oh, okay. I guess they didn't do a very good job there. No. Oh shit! Can we see? Okay. Ah, fuck. We'll probably need to have that lantern. Oh, God, all right. Oh, oh, what is that? Same, Same time as all, all the fox. Okay. Oh, that's handy. There's a lighter. Ooh. What's that do? Oh, we need to pull that thing off of there somehow. Oh, okay. So that way, if she, she comes back in, she won't be suspicious. Yeah. If you hear her coming, do you have to, like, clamp yourself back to that table? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, shit, we can't actually do anything with this. Shit. Did I just hear her? I didn't hear anything, but you might be right. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of important. But yeah, so this fucking pilot now had like a German dude just hanging on to his plane. I think <laughs> I think the dude eventually fell off, but like it was just such a confusing incident that he couldn't like he didn't even know what to fucking do, and like the the, the bomber did actually get away. Damn. <laughs> Can we just kill ourselves with the soup? I, I think we could, actually. Never, never gonna get used to that gruel, huh? I remember thinking it was weird once when, uh, 
uh, I was in China, and then uh, me and Sky were at a uh, a restaurant where the menu literally had uh, an option for gruel. Really? Yeah, that's, uh, they call it gruel, and like uh, when you got it, it was like some sort of <laughs> basic ass like rice soup or something. Hmm. I'm I'm guessing they probably uh, didn't do the best translation. For yeah, it. I feel like that, but yeah, that can't be totally right. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, what's a basic soup in English? Gruel, okay, yeah, that sounds appetizing. I thought I heard her coming. But... Well, she's, she's giving you some time here, I guess. Or maybe she wanders around periodically just to kind of scare you into... Guessing yeah. into... Huh, that's weird. The one unfortunate part of this part of the game is yet it seems like you have to be a little bit quiet in order to like hear shit. Yeah. Like I said, we'll we'll fuck with this like a little bit, but we don't have to necessarily even complete it. I just thought it'd be worth just checking it out. Sure, know? sure. Seems like a weird place for a painting. Can't use that spoon there. Can't spoon a clock, who knows? Can't spoon a clock. <laughs> no matter how many eggs you have a day, you can't spoon a clock. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. At least we can get uh, drunk. Can't get that because the spider's Oh, god so. damn it. Shit. I'm not touching that. <laughs> yep, so kind of That's where we gotta go. Where is... So we gotta get some spider poison. Ooh, shit. Uh-oh. You fucked. You dead. So you gotta put the paintings in the right spot. And it's presumably if she comes back and sees the paintings are out of order, she gets busy. Probably. You could spoon the spiders. <laughs> I'm not touching that. Aha. There you go. Oh, that, no? I'm not sure that worked. You need something hotter. It definitely did not. <laughs> you could just throw the gruel at them. That would probably drive them away. <laughs> Is that a key? Oh, that's Haiti. If only you had like a poking stick. Huh. Oh, if you bust that open, you can probably get a poking stick. <laughs> well, I'm thinking. Because hmm. hmm. you're missing a portrait or something. What, what are the symbols around here? Fetus, scorpion, etc. They match up any at all. So, okay, there's birds. Birds. And then there's... Jesus. Like, right. <laughs> or, I don't know, character from Populous 2. Uh, there's a bird on a tombstone. That's the only bird I see. Yeah. I don't think tombstone quiet. fits. And then, like, a... I don't see... There's nothing that's, like, similar to a guy. Yeah, there's nothing religious looking on there. And then you have, like, I don't know, like ten, ten different combinations on the other one, so. I think you thought you heard her coming? I thought so. Someone's out there, all right. And she'll probably notice that the paintings are in there. Yeah, yeah. I almost wonder if you maybe you get like one sort of mulligan where she comes in and goes like, "What the fuck's going on in here?" Then right, bitches at you, then leaves. Right, and it's like, okay. I mean, she's crazy enough that it wouldn't surprise me. Now that sounds like she's coming. So I guess I don't know whether that was your footstep or hers. I thought I was standing pretty still, so I think... That very clearly sounded like a footstep that time. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, it's like you also have decently loud footsteps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I don't know how the fuck she's in here, you, you grubbing around up here, but I... I guess if you get all that fucking weird fungus in your ears, probably have a hard time.
Well, you seriously do seem to be given a lot of time to kind yeah. of mess around. Fucking cat's whining over there about something. I wonder if she needs to use the bathroom or something. <laughs> Yeah. What is it, cat? I might have to. Uh, might have to. Lock I can open the door. Oh, actually, you'd have to open your your yeah, door. So I'll, I'll, I guess I'll let you do that. Uh, can I use the lighter there? No, didn't probably that. not. You obviously need something else. What's that plate? Oh, can you put like a candle there, maybe? Uh, that would be that would make sense because it's yeah. But I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you, know, you can't use any of those, can you? Mm. See, Obviously, one of the other paintings is hidden behind something. Right. <coughs> the issue is, I don't actually see that much stuff you can interact with. Yeah, I'm like, actually, I'm kind of. I'm actually pretty lost, to be honest. <laughs> What the fuck does it? Wait, what was that thing on the desk? Oh, that's where we found oh, the right. right side of that. Damn it. Yeah. What the fuck did that drawer get stuck? I've had shitty drawers like that, and they've never gotten stuck. Yeah, not like that, man. I'm sure, I'm just not sure if somebody was watching us, they'd be like, oh my god, it's right fucking there. Oh, I'm sure. Huh. Yeah, well, it should be something we passed like 700 times. Oh! Okay. So it was something we passed like a shitload of times. Well, I wouldn't have expected the clock to just break. Nope, I would not have either. But that is exactly... Ah, where there you go. Is. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Don't forget to put the hand back on the clock. Yeah, when I we're, think we're fucked anyway. <laughs> I've moved so many things. So I guess you gotta do that, like, first, pretty much? Oh, shit, no, that's how much time we have to, like, Okay, so it does... Back. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, so... Okay, hold on. You have about, about 45 seconds, move some paintings. Don't forget to put Jesus back in on the right. He's right here, right? No, he's on the other side. He's right here? Yep, he's there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Big one. Put the hand back on the clock, can you? Uh, I think we used it. Oh, yeah, that's, we used that. that's not that one good. Might not, she might not notice, though. All right, well, one can hope. Shoot, all right. Well, except for the fucking drawer being broken. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're going we're gonna to find out what happens. See, did we do a good enough job putting things away? No. Oh, look, dude, that fucking drawer is stuck, too. That's gonna... That's yeah, gonna... that's the bullshit thing. Oh, that drawer didn't open itself. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, no. I'll be good. I'll be good. No, no. No, no. <laughs> she just kill you? Yeah, she killed it. Of course, it's the centipede. That makes sense. Ooh, God, and then it goes in your mouth. Ooh. That's damn, fun. That's, that's fun. Yeah. That's, that's super fun. <laughs> Delightful. That's a great death. You know, I'm, I, I... That was almost like a Mortal Kombat fatality. I don't know. I, I feel like I could accept that as an ending. I can too, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll we'll uh, we'll move on to the real like story stuff here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to just um, for a brief moment see if the cat needs to use the bathroom. Yeah, a cat is whining up a shitstorm. Yeah, and I'd rather you know. That is the noisiest fucking cat I've ever fucking met. Well, you don't want to go in the. <laughs> you have to chase her around the room. Yeah, it's like you want it. You want it. Sage has the most talkative cat I have ever seen. I have had some talkative cats in my time, ones that will speak in like complete sentences if they want to, but Sage's cat will just go on and on. Me, me, 
You hold her for a fucking second, and she screams at you like she's going to die. You give her free reign of a room, and she'll run everywhere, making weird little grunting noises the whole time. Uh, she's... Oh, hello, Blue Wing. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, that cat, she's so talkative that now my cat is fucking taking after her. She's getting more talkative because she hears Sage's cat. You're doing good, yeah? That's good. Just talking about Sage's damn cat and how noisy it is. Oh, yeah. How's that been so far? How far have we gotten? That game looks like it's pretty fucking good. Did you play the actual game or just the demo so far? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have our, our favorite audience member here. Facing the Four Lords. Uh, that uh, That is what the bosses in our in a village are referred to. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, no, I, I believe you, man. I believe you. Uh, I, I also was playing it earlier. All right. So now, story content time. Whoa, Chris. Not downloading this add-on. What? Huh? Uh, oh, okay. Yes, I have. The game's trying to scam you. Uh, all right. It'll... Well, uh, he I also, Zoe's mutation looks fucking weird, right? Whole thing. Yeah. Joe uh, must die. That's also the hardest difficulty, uh, is Ethan must die. There's like an Ethan must die mode. Well, I mean, it seems like Chris might be the bad guy at the beginning, but who knows? Yeah, I, I, something tells me he's not going to be the bad guy the entire game. Like, it's definitely implied at the, at the opening he is, but, uh, you know, I, I definitely, yeah, I, would, I would be... I would be surprised if that was the case. Yeah, it's, it's a very unlikely thing for them to do. Given I do Chris's think it'd status. be bold of them if they. It would this. if he becomes like the next Wesker, but yeah. less ridiculous. Guys, yeah. still don't understand why this was even a choice. It it, it it doesn't make sense for it to be one because it only it, him choosing his wife is the only way that that makes sense. Yeah. It's the only way that, like, the whole story section on the boat even works, really. Well, and also, like, then this DLC doesn't make sense if you... Yeah. Right? So, and then the next game, I'm pretty sure, doesn't make sense. It really was just a choice, just for the sake of having a choice. Yeah, there was no real reason to, put, to put that there. If they had had an actual thing where... You chose Zoe? That's a... I, I mean, I guess you do what you're gonna do, but, like, I don't think the story makes sense if you choose Zoe. The game kind of... The game objectively states that it's the, the wrong option, pretty much. Yeah. The, the fact that this DLC exists, even, is basically telling you that. Zoe, I mean, she helped a she, she helped. I'm not saying Zoe's bad, but, like, you, the whole reason Ethan went there was for Mia in the first place. And I think it could have been, it could have been perfectly fine to have that as, like, a choice mechanic if they actually went somewhere with if you had grabbed Zoe. Right, if, that, if it was actually an interesting difference in the story. Like, if there's a whole separate ending where she actually plays a major role. <laughs> She's fucking punching a dude in the helmet. I like how you just took down two fucking soldiers. Right? <laughs> now, Joe is uh, uh, a very over-the-top character. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking his accent so far. What, we tie these dudes up or something? Oh, cool, man. Uh, the, the not a hero is already done. So oh, just cool. got the little this didn't take on long. The phone. Listen to me. We're here to help. <laughs> well, I don't believe you, boy. At least they forgave him pretty quickly for uh, punching them out. Tell me, what kind of help comes in a helicopter gunship? <laughs> <laughs> My you, Joe. <laughs> you don't get it. You think. I don't know who you people are <laughs> with all these monsters running around here. Tell me, where'd they come from? 
Also, when I let the cat in, she ate, like, she went and ate a piece of food. And then That's what she wanted? See, this is what I was fucking talking about with that goddamn cat. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Whiner. She never actually ha needs anything. She just wants to talk. She does. She's very talkative. She's extremely talkative. <laughs> just beat the shit out of this dude. <laughs> so I like this, is, this guy. This is when, uh, this is the DLC where Resident Evil really reaches its, like, camp level, you know? <laughs> So, if Nicolas Cage is Jack, and Charlie Day is Lucas, who would play this character? Tom Waits. A younger Tom Waits. <laughs> Tom Waits. That'd be perfect. Yeah, we're just we're so close to being done with this now. Yeah, I mean, these DLCs. These DLCs are not super long either. I don't, I don't how long would you say they are? Uh, long enough that we might not be done tonight. Okay. Ben Affleck, huh? I, I don't, don't think Ben Affleck would work for that. Yeah, I don't know if I see him as this character. In a bit, to ben be Affleck feels like a little too serious of an actor for yeah. that. Granted, maybe not after uh, his his uh, stint with the DC. Well, fair enough, but. So we have to go find this key to cure for. I like he's just got the monster's head on his fucking. Apparently that's his dinner. That's uh, unpleasant looking. But she almost looks more like a like a like almost like with like with like Albert Wesker, where it's like almost like he gets seen. He looks like he's gotten like superpowers from. That's true. Yeah. It like it, it almost like there's less of like an overtly like gross thing with her. It's like a, it's like she looks like she could be an X Men character. Yeah, some sort of weird crystal chick. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? It, that was no gator I saw today. <laughs> this is his own journal. Uh, I was out checking the lines when I, saw, when I saw I had one, so I pulled it up and said it was some sludge covered God knows what with huge teeth and claws. Tried to get at me, so I punched the fucker's teeth in. <laughs> so he just, so Ethan was like being hounded by these monsters. Yeah, I could barely fight them off with like a shotgun. And this guy is just beating them with his fists. Okay. Uh, tried to get at me, before, sorry, I punched, uh, never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Goddamn government doing secret experiments on people and animals, no doubt about it. Explain <laughs> those helicopters flying about recently. Oh, he's conspiracy theorists too. Alright. This, this, this makes me feel like we're just going to be playing like it was like One Punch Man, what? basically. Well, his fist is a weapon. Yeah. I mean, we're going to do These Resident Evil guns. 8 pretty soon, actually. Yeah, uh, uh, st uh, six. Uh, basically, we're not going to be... This is a tutorial. He's just got a fucking... Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't know he was like a like boxing champ. I don't even feel like we need to save. Like, ooh, hey. M21 shotgun, huh? Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, we got a shotgun, but, like, honestly, this is more fun. I feel like we could just probably... I wonder if we can beat this entire thing with just our fists. Wow, we, uh, I know there are some enemies that are a little, little tougher. Okay. Uh, also, Blue Wing, to answer your question, um, starting on Tuesday at about 6 p.m. Oh, and then also his health is... Uh, Bugs that we find in trees. We just eat bugs we out just, of trees. We just eats bugs. Are out we of playing trees. as a bear? Like, cause that's what it feels like. Well, and then so, but combining a cr a critter with the chem fluid is what gives you the centipede. Yep. Okay. I don't know how eats. much health you're gonna get back by just eating random bugs you find in the woods. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, that took like four hits. Fucking <laughs> Jesus, and he gets the Isaac Clark uh, hissy stomp. Bugs have iron. Do they? I mean, I guess I don't. They have protein. They have protein. I do. They have iron. I I I can't refute that. I guess exactly. But well, lots of things have iron and aren't gonna heal you from instant wounds. Jesus, this dude's like an MMA fighter or something. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Can I, can I get another game playing as this fucking guy? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, that guy got ya. <laughs> oh, oh. Got you on the floor there. 
making their body parts fucking explode with your hands. Right? It's like, this guy is so... Just considering, like, the toughness of, like, the other, the most of the rest of this game, to then allow you to just do this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but it's, like, ridiculous in a way. It's, oh, yeah. Just busting that shit. <laughs> That's how we get through doors. Boxer effigy. Makes oh, sense. yeah, collect effigies to boost our attack power. Oh, sure, so why not? get stronger every time we pick one. Okay. Like Resident Evil 8 is better than Resident Evil 7. Uh, I I might agree. I might agree. I've played the first... Um, I, I've, al I've already played the first little bit of it. Um, I, m I might like it more. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think... I I don't think you can make that call until you've finished both games. You know? Okay. That looks, uh, lovely. Any type infection. Jesus Christ. <laughs> think you can go fucking scare me? <laughs> Just punch body parts off of it. I think we're playing as the fucking Doom Slayer now. Right. I do enjoy that your stomps don't even have to actually connect. <laughs> right. So this is like the, like a little taste of the Evil Dead 2 to the base game's uh... Evil Dead, yeah, yeah, actually. Fucking just knock his head off. <laughs> oh shit. For a second, I thought the whole thing just exploded. That would be amazing. Alright. Alright. Uh, this is some down. goofy shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I might actually agree with thinking that 8 is better, but uh, I think you, I really think you gotta finish them before you can make that decision. Yeah, I mean, you never know. 8 could pull something out of its ass at the end that completely ruins it. Yeah, what if, yeah, what if something happens later in the game that isn't as good? What if it was all a dream? What if it was all a dream, yeah. I mean, so far, I, I think... Oh, that was interesting. So so far, I like I eat a lot, um, because it's a combination of... Oh, shit. House is on fire. So we're just going to punch the fire out? That would be amazing. Are we going to give her the cure thing? See how little of it's in there, though? Oh, yeah, so we can only partially cure. If that. I like how he's like, alright, let me just sit and do this. <laughs> the house is on fire. Yeah, it's, it's not like we gotta go anywhere. She needs a full dose to heal completely. There's more at our base. Why didn't you send us there first? And I'll take you there. Please! <laughs> All right. Uh, so we gotta carry her out of here, or huh? And now, now we gotta get her out of here. <laughs> Not the last five minutes that the fire has been burning the house down. <laughs> oh shit! Swamp thing. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that one was a little different looking, too. Huh. It's getting weird right at the moment. Yeah, I mean, like, I would have been kind of curious to see, like... <laughs> <laughs> I like how, like, even just done with this he is. Like, he, before the it even starts, he's done with the shit. No, I can't blame him. I mean, no, that's fair. But yeah, like, I... I you know, I think it'd be interesting to explore in in a, in a game like what some of these mutations might do in a slightly more helpful sense. Because um, mm -hmm. as kind of stupid as Resident Evil Six is, one of the things I actually did kind of think was cool was uh, 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 Sherry Sherry Birkin, uh, the little girl that you are you have, you save <laughs> as as, uh, as Claire uh -huh. in Resident Evil Two, uh, is one of the adult characters you play as in Resident Evil 6. And okay. she, uh, because of her, the infection she got in 2, which she was, like, kind of semi-cured of, she actually has, like, a Wolverine-like super healing oh, cool. thing in 6. And so it's like... So like she's a, like the little girl in Logan. 
Yeah, kind of, but all grown up okay. uh, and, and sex. Um, she's the part. She's she's the like co-op partner to the like uh, Albert Wesker's kid, yeah. uh, that is, like, the kung fu well. guy <laughs> in the game. So it's like Resident Evil babies. Kinda. I mean, at least I, Sherry made a bit more sense because she was like a pre-existing character right. from one of the other games, whereas Jake Wesker was just kind of made up for that. Granted, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I think he is probably one of the better parts of Resident Evil 6 just because, again, I think if you're going to go stupid and over the top and just ridiculous, go as much as possible. Sure. And he was as much as possible. Okay. So... Because he, because uh, they try and do a, a like a kind of a nemesis thing almost with with his uh, part of the or his campaign, where it's a, uh, I think it was called the Ustanak. I just say Ubastank. Ubastank. Uh, <laughs> I just say Ubastank instead. But uh, I think it was the Ustanak. They try. It's basically it's it's just a nemesis again. Uh, okay. But like it is pretty unbelievable. Why is it called an Ustanak? Ubastank. No. I'm just, <laughs> uh, well, why is it called? I that? have no idea. I, I I genuinely don't remember at all. Like what the. Ah shit. So we actually have to fight Alex. Not now, Gator. What, are we like the crocodile hunter now. We have to fight some crocodile. <laughs> all right, sure. Why not? Now that's the part where the guns, I think, are are actually kind of necessary. Because the crocodiles can probably. Uh, yeah. Though I do like the idea that he can fucking like punch out like weird fungal zombie horrors, but then uh, a crocodile can still potentially get him. Right. I mean, I think we, I think you can punch out the. Uh, yeah, let's look at that. Less than an hour. Wow. Those save files. So that's those are the other times I've played this before. So I'm not, you know, I'm not even gonna save. <laughs> Shit's. Yeah, we don't even need to deal with that one. Uh, there's a big metal door. Cool. We can still kill these things? What the fuck? <laughs> God, how, the fuck are... how the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm really in, I yeah. This is such this is a great DLC. Cause it's just like you wanna just feel like a fucking tough guy after like having to play like this a This thing looks like a bitch. It does kinda. It really does. Are you dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. Uh, yeah, I do like how... Also, look at these. This is supposed to be 2017 this game is taking place in. I feel like these laptops are old as shit. Yeah, that, that, I used to have a laptop look like that. I think it was like from like 2012. Right, it's like... Like... <laughs> <laughs> See, he is the fucking Doom Slayer. Yeah, this, this is the closest thing to it. Well, I mean, I guess a lot of the Resident Evil characters are actually pretty overly capable. Um... It just it stands out more because this game is not is not like that for so much of it. But uh surprised we can't just climb over these fences. Just punch the fence down. Yeah, seriously. Throwing spear. Oh You're yeah. Fucking well, serious? We're, gonna, we're gonna save that because you never use the shotgun? Or well, you're that's a bad idea. The shotgun's one of your best. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I actually died. Oh, the bastard got you. But yeah, shotgun's the best weapon in the game. So I'm. Yeah, the shotgun is free as the handgun. You realize that the handgun does do less damage, right? Yeah, I mean, you're you're gonna get a lot more mileage on the shotgun. Yeah, shotguns. I mean, look, shotguns are always better in uh, in the monster games. Shotguns are always better in the monster games. And like, just think about how many, how much you've gotten out of it in this game. You know, I feel like you're gonna need even more in eight. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, mo monster games are always... Shotguns always are better weapons for monster games. Mm -hmm. Always better weapons for monster games. Honestly, I think the only sort of game where shotguns aren't the best weapons are, like, military shooters. Yeah, because then I feel like machine guns are probably your best bet in most of those. Yeah. Machine guns. Uh, I again, mean, the machine gun in this seems pretty good. You just don't get it very often. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If, I, if machine guns are effective, and it depends on the game. I mean, in this game specifically, the machine gun was good. Like you said, though, not enough of it. I, I think maybe it's trying to tutorialize us to use. Ah. Okay, well. That didn't work. That's why shotguns are effective. Yep, shotguns are... I mean, this guy has his fists. So, I mean, oh, and then we can pick him up at least. All right, that's good. Doesn't get used up. <laughs> I 
Now, uh, I do feel like if we're talking like the Magnum pistols, that might be a different story. Uh, and now we're stronger again. Uh, of course. Because those things are beastly in the Resident that's, Evil games. Yeah, that's true. What is this? Orders are as follows, effective immediately. The mutamycite is on the loose in the swamp, and it'll keep mutating as it encounters new organisms. We can't allow the stock of medicine compounds to be exposed. If they suffer a mutation, they'll be useless. Transfer the whole anti-infective and synthesizing station over to the paddle boat. No spoilers. No spoilers. You know, all the people have played that shit yet, you know. Um, no, Blue Wing, no spoilers. You cannot talk about anything that has happened in that game on here. No spoilers. I will. Oh shit, it's your friend. Are we gonna box this thing? Cause it looks like it, it also is like a fucking like... Oh shit. It's just windmilling at ya. This might be a good time. Shotgun, actually. You know, I was thinking in the last game that uh, it would be kind of nice to have a good old like double barrel in here. So I am glad that uh... I'm glad that this dude has one. Right? Yeah, you know, I'd be with the boomstick, right? And everything mm -hmm. and uh... And, uh... I do personally feel like this sort of setting is better for a double barrel than a, than a pump shotgun. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If, if, if you... If, Louie, if you want to talk about Resident Evil 8, uh, like stuff that happens in oh, the story. Uh, yeah, just eat, eat. That's, just, that's just the hell. Just eat a centipede? Yep, just eat him. I don't think that would make me any healthier. I'm just gonna, I'm just saying. Oh, can't get you down there. There's a lot of locks away. Yeah, Blue Wing, if you want to talk about things that happen in Resident Evil 8, you can do that when we actually play Resident Evil 8. And probably specifically after we get yeah. to that point. Yeah, you need to you need to wait until that, like, we, we can do it when we're actually playing that game, but you also, yeah, you gotta wait until until that's actually Because the thing happened. is that... Because Alex, in particular, is, is going to be seeing it for the first time when we are playing it, so you cannot talk about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, okay. it, it's not going to be very good for us if we're trying to get reactions out of what's going on with the game and shit. Oh shit, gator time. And that is why they just gave us a bunch of spears. Was this primal all of a sudden? Right. <laughs> did you kill it? Yeah. Ooh, it like went right in its mouth, too. Yeah, it did. Not getting that spear back, though. No. No, I think you can usually kill something with it. Oh shit. Ah. Shit. Ouch. Oh shit. Damn. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, yeah. I guess those things are like instant kills. Alright. I could have sworn I've been I've been gotten by them before, and it wasn't like an instant kill. But Even the mighty Uncle, Uncle Joe is still, still can't... Still susceptible to alligators. <laughs> Shit. I mean, alligators are pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, no, they, that's true, that is true. But yeah, hey... Just yeah, just just yeah. All, yeah, all I'm saying, just be careful of of, uh, of if we're talking about something that you know. Just kind of common, sort of you know, be respectful of, our, of the audience and stuff. Yeah, because especially like say someone else was watching it and they hadn't played. Well, a lot of people are going to be watching the not necessarily this one because this game came out a long time ago, but they're going to be watching a lot of, uh, of of our streams, hopefully, specifically to see like new games to determine if they're like you know worth playing or getting, and so they're going to want to. Not bad. <laughs> They're yeah. going to want to kind of follow along with the story without, you know, it having it spoiled for them. Yeah, like, you could talk about... You could honestly talk about anything that's happened in Resident Evil 7, if you want. But, yeah, 8 right now, let's just say that's off limits unless we're playing... Oh, oh shit. Oh, God damn it. That one's playing dead. Didn't even see that one. It's playing dead. Ooh. Damn, oh, they feel like bit you in half, too. You know, I see, I swear, uh... That's uh, a pretty fucking big gator. It is. You know, I honestly... It's a little too big to throw through a drive through window. ...dying once uh, in this game before. <laughs> uh, I disagree with you there, Joe. Crawfish, too, we just picked up for health. Just gonna nibble on a crawfish, sure, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, there was this crocodile in Africa that was like that killed like like a hundred people or something. Cause uh, it was like a fucking serial killer crocodile, pretty much. It would it would stalk people and it would uh, it would wait to pick people off until you know they were 
alone without any any uh, backup. And uh, it was fucking unkillable too. It got shot in the face once and lived. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking intense. Yeah, don't fuck with crocodiles. Yeah, I know. Seriously, don't fuck with crocodiles. Uh, make some slightly better hailing items, I think, with those. Yeah, because those are little bugs only get you so far. All right, now I'm like really trying to watch out for them because that one really caught me by surprise. There's another one. Where? Right there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, here it comes. Right. I'm amazed that you can kill those in one in one throw. Honestly, though, that was your last spear, right? Yeah. So let's let's take this opportunity to get out of the water. Oh shit, zombie! <laughs> oh. Let me get my fists out. <laughs> I do love that these zombies are less menacing than crocodiles <laughs> or alligators. Not that there's a lot of difference between the two. I like that his defense, like, Ethan is like a cowering defense. Where yeah, he's just like, come at me. Yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just uppercut the zombie. I would kind of enjoy, a, like, a, a zombie mo survival type <laughs> setting. <laughs> you see how he flew away? <laughs> yeah. I would enjoy wow. a zombie survival type movie or show where somebody just goes around just beating the shit out of the zombies with just bare hands. I don't think I've ever seen that in something. No, I don't think so either. Ooh. That, that one's been dead. mutated. Well, it's also already dead, so... It's still, it is, but, like, I think I think maybe all of them have been a little mutated, maybe. So, who, is there anybody else out here spearing the crocs, or is it just, just places that Joe's been before? Uh, that's a great question, actually, because it does kind of seem like he's the only person around. Yum, eat it. Are you referring to the crocodile? Because I don't think that that would taste... I don't think that crocodile would taste great. Not that one in particular, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, like... Croc I've, I've tried alligator. It's actually quite good. Yeah, yeah, alligator. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's not not bad. Um, but, right. that, yeah, that one. That one specifically. I yeah, don't. if they have cancerous growths on them, you probably should just, uh... Probably, probably just walk away. Yeah. It's a good rule of thumb for anything, you see, if it's got strange mutated growths on it. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's a crocodile, doesn't matter if it's a carrot. Keep calling them goddamn crocodiles. They're goddamn alligators. Right. I keep forgetting. Damn superfluous names. And then here, this is our shortcut back, so now... Oh, good. Now we can get back there. Oh, without having to go all the way around. All right. I would kind of enjoy if this ended with, like, a boss fight against, like, some sort of zombie bear or something. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think we for sure will finish this one tonight, but I don't know if we'll get into the next one, or if we do, I don't know if we'll get far into it. Sure, sure. But, uh, actually, you know what, I know, I mean, I know I, uh, for the most part, I said this game is like, you know, we should stream. At what do we do with scrap metal? Uh, combine, nothing to combine it with. It might, it might, it might, uh, that might be like what you use to make like the sharp part of the spear, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say though, uh, uh, to tomorrow and like kind of like like uh like in the more in the earlier part of the day, uh, I was gonna say if we wanted to, maybe we could even do a little bit of this, do, yeah, yeah, maybe do the other expansion, finish it off tomorrow. This one, we, this particular expansion, we could totally have done during the daytime because it's not scary at all. Yeah, and neither is the, the county, playing, county playing. I'll playing. chat you guys later. I'm not sure what county playing is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Could you, Could you explain that to us before you go? Yeah, just like a, just a tiny bit, just a little bit. I'm just I'm, I'm, I don't know. Curious, what you know. Maybe oh, continue playing. Oh, continue. is that what he meant? I'm gonna continue oh, playing. Oh, so okay, gonna, that does make Resident sense. Evil Village. Yeah, uh, I didn't know what county playing meant. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was. I, yeah, I definitely think it was continue. Yep, okay. okay. Cool. Sorry. Yep, I got you, man. I got you. All right. Well, have a have a good time. Oh shit, that one's got two of those things on its head. Still ain't shit though. Wonder if we can get a hit on you. 
it's almost like a Dead Space Extraction where I'm like, I yeah, you I, feel bad for the zombies. Yeah, I almost kind of feel bad for the zombies because it's like they don't even have a fucking chance. That was still like the best moment in a horror game. Is is that just that sequence in Dead Space Dead Space Extraction where we were both playing? So we had like the dual flamethrowers going, and this fucking necromorph just fucking jumps down behind you, and you just turn to face it, and then you just see the necromorph's got this expression on its face, like, oh shit, I have made a big mistake. I like that you can fucking do stealth kills at all in this, like... You, you shouldn't be able to do that on these things, I feel like, you know? Particularly since they're, like, the ones that are potentially doing, like, the stealthy sort of things in the, in the, in the, the base thing, game. Yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, it's a bit of a weird... I like that what was that just doing in a box? Yeah, oh, tr okay, so, yep, tree branch combined with sky metal spear. Okay. Yep. That is exactly what that is. Oh, hey, I just killed your fucking brother. I will say, it seems like it would be somewhat difficult to make a spear out of just a random tree branch and some scrap metal, but I have made a scrap metal spear before, so... Right. Well, I mean, also, uh, Joe, I think, in particular... Joe yeah, he's Joe. obviously, like... I don't even know how to describe him. He's like Robinson Crusoe on math. <laughs> Another potential stealth kill, I think. Oh, he's got a friend. And you guys need to pay attention. Right. It's like if you, <laughs> he's just fucking exploding their heads. What are you even doing, buddy? I think he's just smelling the floor. Oh, swamp where I guess I can't kind of can't play. I wonder if I played it and I didn't do. I just wasn't stealthy before, and that's why I didn't get that trophy. <laughs> well, I mean, when you can just walk, run in and bust their heads, you know. Right. Like, well, I mean, yeah. Like, Why you know, Joe doesn't need to be stealthy. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Was he, like, a green beret person. in Vietnam or something? Like, this character is so weird. <laughs> well, we I, we do know for sure that Jack was a Marine. Okay. That doesn't really tell us anything about Joe, but... <laughs> oh, shit. Do we get any... Oh, he had a friend. Do we get any background on Joe, or is he just mysterious, badass redneck? Uh, to be honest, I'm trying to remember if they do or not. I, you know what? I think he might have been a fucking, like, uh, like a fucking championship boxer or something. Okay. And that's supposed to be why he's so fucking good at this. I still don't know if that totally, like, makes sense, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if boxing training translates to, uh, zombie fighting ability, but I could be wrong. I've never done... I've never fought zombies, and I've never boxed, so I'm right. not an expert here. Like, uh, both things are slightly outside of our level of expertise. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you can just basically infinitely just hit that button, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, uh, man. See, and this, this is Resident Evil, like, knowing how to have fun with itself. Yes. Like... Like whereas like six where it was it was so dumb and kind of over the top and you know Resident Evil Six almost felt like it should be making fun of itself. I mean, like I, I like to refer to uh, uh, Resident Evil Six as Mel Brooks's Resident Evil. <laughs> so oh, look at this auto synthesize. What are we doing here? Uh, oh, we're making this up. Yeah, it's. it's <laughs> It's like a fucking broken ass vending machine or computer or something. I swear I have to. <laughs> it totally fucking worked too. <laughs> uh, you know, I've never been in a situation Whoops. where beating the shit out of a machine hasn't helped. Fair enough. So this guy was also a heavyweight boxer. Right. Damn. I will say that this character being so ridiculous does make this particular monster a lot more scary. Because it's like if it can fight him. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. This is like a cage match. It, it is. Do we still have our shotgun? Or are we just supposed to punch it? Shotgun will definitely help. Okay. I was wondering if we were allowed to use it in this sequence. Jesus. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. 
Alright, alright, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's like fucking using like straight up like actual uh like like fucking like fighting moves yeah. pretty much, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck. It's like a zombie that does know how to box. Oh, it's got the centipede going in your mouth again, but wouldn't Joe be into that? Wouldn't that just yeah, heal him? Be, yeah, that'd just be food to him. <laughs> Not bad, little guy. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous fucking shit. What's in there? Oh, we can make another spear, I think. Oh, what's going on here? Ah. Looks like a turnaround. Honestly, I think we are supposed to fist fight him. I mean, it seems to be working. Ah. Is this like the boss fight in this one? Not, it's not the end yet, no. Okay. We're maybe halfway through. Oh shit, wow. Fucking roundhouse kicked you. Shit. See, now if pay-per-view fights were like this, I'd probably check them out. Shit. Oh fuck, he's, he's, he's getting you. Yeah, he is. Damn, oh, damn it. it. <laughs> this is the fucking boxing match with Swap thing. I'm telling you, man, I would I would pay to see... Mighty Swamp Man, yeah. a freakishly strong monstrosity. Remember to guard against his attacks and wait for the right time to... Yeah, yeah no, no this shit. Is, this is supposed to be, uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah? Fucking running jump kick. Oh, shit. It's a little risky to stand behind him because he can bitch slap you. Right. Oh, fuck. Jesus. I suppose we might as well use the shotgun ammo. Oh, oh shit. fuck! Man, it doesn't seem like we need it in the rest of the game. Look at him, he's like fucking. Yeah, he's got like a like a block going on. He knows how to fight. Now I'm curious about the story behind this particular zombie. Like, why is it so badass? <laughs> That's amazing. The only way this could be better is if 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 Joe was like like a Mexican mass wrestler. <laughs> that would be great. I would play an entire game of that. I, I just love that. Not bad, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do like a like a supernatural version of a of a Mike Tyson punch out type thing. That'd be fun. Oh shit! What what, what are we doing here? Uh, oh, sorry, my wrestling movie did the. Oh uh, fuck! Ow! I think there was a healing fluid There's behind right you. Behind us. Ow. Shit. Oh shit. Now it's time for that healing. I'm trying. I'm just uh, he was not doing it. Damn it. <laughs> for some reason, he just did not want to uh, apply it. Bastard. <laughs> what a weird fucking thing, though. Be careful when his guard is up. Because otherwise, he can fucking right. suplex you. <laughs> this is one of the strangest fights I've seen in a video game. Pick up that like extra health right there. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's just pick these up real quick. Yeah. Getting. Oh, yeah, that, that, that should help you out. You yeah, need those. So that's the first thing you gotta get in this fight, pretty much. Oh, oh shot. Well, got him in the, at the head that time at least. True. Oh, oh fuck. Here Not this shit again. again. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just thinking of that fucking fight club scene in Gotham. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. 
god, fucking Gotham. Did you see that? The way he was fucking bouncing on one foot? Winding up to fucking... That is ridiculous. Ouch. There you go. Alright. Stunned him, too. <laughs> Wonder how many of these moves we can do on him. I think there's. I think that's like how you know, like how much progress you've made in the fight. If there's like two or three of those or something like that. Okay. Wow. He's actually getting kind of fucked up looking. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think you might get him this time. He is all kinds of jacked up. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck off, mother. <laughs> oh, fuck. And here tonight, tonight we have Joe Baker versus <laughs> the Swamp Thing from DC Comics. <laughs> there we go, we actually have all the healing items this time, too. Oh, fuck. I tired him out, though. Oh, fuck. It really takes a lot to take him down, doesn't it? Mm, he does, he does. There we go. Alright, is the same thing or is this different? This is different. Yep. We gonna try to snap his neck or? Ugh. God, how much of him is bugs? Ripped his whole head off. Jesus. That's still alive too. <laughs> Throw his head in the water. Like, regenerate that motherfucker. Oh shit. I think we might be a little mutated. Wow, well, I'd be afraid if, if Joe turned into a zombie. I don't think you could beat that. Right. <laughs> Shit, I mean, that that's, uh... He'd make for an even more powerful nemesis than, uh, nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> God, do you know that Lady Demetresk, right? The, the big, the big, big titty vampire lady? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, like, four feet taller than nemesis. How is she that tall? She just, she just is. <laughs> Man, she'd be a great basketball player. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Only having played a little bit, there, there's been yet to be any, any real explanation yet for any of the crazy stuff. Um, I, um, I have a theory that this is like one of the. Oh shit! Well, that was fast. Yeah. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Just fucking tossed her over her arm like a goddamn caveman. <laughs> Basically, um, this thing's like a, like a fucking like B movie monster. <laughs> the creature from the Black Lagoon or some shit. Right, the, the swamp thing from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I do have a theory at least that I, I, I'm willing to bet that what's going on in Eight is the result of like one of go. the very very first. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like umbrella experiments from like back in the day or something like that. Okay, uh, that's just my theory. Is like, cause I, I I I feel like it just makes sense to. I like that he's like threatening this thing even when it can't hear. Him. Yeah, I like Joe. He's awesome. He's <laughs> he's a fun character. I I I really actually hope he makes a comeback. At some See point. now if they're ever gonna do something like Resident Evil Six again, but hopefully better. Joe needs to be in it. He does. Well, he should just be. They should, they should just give him a game. Honestly, I'd I, I be down for that. Make it kind of like a, like a Far Cry Ooh, yeah, Blood Dragon sort of thing. Cool. These, like, piles are, like... Gross. It's, like, it's more just... It's, like, just mold in the swamp. It's still delightful, except... It, is it mold, or is it, like, weird globs of, like, flesh? Well, I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of both, since it's, like, the weird virus kind of mold thing. Okay. But uh, it is it is just... Because uh, they, they kind of... There's that thing talking about how, like, the, the more the longer it's just in this area, the more it's going to get, like... The more it's just going to infect and kind of morph the environment and the life around it. So I do believe that, that it's the mold. That's just what it's doing to... Okay. ...to this particular area. So why does this thing want Zoe? Like, why is it keeping her from us? Uh, I mean, well, you'll get... I mean, you'll, you'll get an explanation. Okay, good. Us. Um... I mean, there hasn't been a lot of explanation as to what the fuck is going on in this so far. So I was, I was wondering if we ever actually get any, or if it's just kind of weird shit for the sake no, of weird no, it'll, shit. No, it'll make at least some sense for sure. 
some. I, again, I mean, I think some of it's inherently just kind of over the top, kind of because, but uh, let's click on this to make sure we get our checkpoint. Yeah. Man, what a dump. <laughs> it's just crawfish. Yeah, you can just gnaw down on a crawfish. Well, I also like how combining um, a crawfish with... Uh, uh, that's not good. Oh, that's cute. That's one of the toy ones from... <laughs> and then there's a real one. There's another one over there, too. We can make another uh, spear, yeah. can't we? No, we don't have another piece of wood, shit. Oh, also, hold on, what is this? Joe's survival manual. How to kill what? those things. <laughs> Bodies are tough, but heads are soft. Punch them. Get in as <laughs> many fast punches as possible. Heads crush easily underfoot. Crouch and sneak up. He's got, like, a guide to himself. How many of these things has he been killing? Uh, it must be a decent amount. <laughs> if he's got, like, a guide written about it, right? <laughs> so it's gonna be, like, the world's leading expert on monster hunting? I mean, shit, I would trust this guy. If he, if this if this guy was the guy telling me, like, alright, this is what you need to fucking do, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, you know what? Uh, you know, I will, I'll, yeah, I'll, I will follow your instructions. Yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. It's like a fucking, like, redneck Batman. <laughs> this is, you know what, you know what he, you know what he is? He's Rambo from, like, the third or fourth Rambo yes. movie. Yes, he <laughs> like, is. To the point where it was, he just could do fucking, like, anything. Hopefully he's Rambo from uh, from after uh, or before. Either way, Rambo who is an alibi allied with the Taliban. Right. Now we're out of spears. It looks like. Yeah. Let me like get. Oh, he's like. Oh. Damn. Do they have like definite patrol routes? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, that's, that's good. Basically, just wait for him to turn around here. Ah, uh, didn't oh, work. Shit. Get back onto the porch. 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 Can't beat an alligator in the water. Man, I swear to God, I, when I played this last, I punched those things to death, too. I huh. swear to God I did. Maybe I was playing on it. Maybe I was playing on easy or something, and I didn't realize it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's weird I shit. I swear to God. I swear to God. I, that's... I think you gotta go to that other platform. What, the one right there? No, the other one. That Where one. The more well, see, that's the thing, though. Was the there another gator closer. over there? And another one popped up. Oh, yep. I see. Wow, this sucks. Yeah, he... Oh, he's yep. dead. Fucking hell, too. I can't have any more too slow to, like... Well, let's find no, out. Maybe not. Uh, are we safe? Are we safe? I think we're safe. Oh, okay. So you're not completely screwed. Interesting. The patrol route is so tiny, though. Right, that's the problem. And then they're really close by each other, too. Yeah. I'll just fucking go for it. I assume we can't just shoot the gators. Uh, I, we could, but I don't have any uh, shotgun oh, really? ammo. Yep. Uh, Tree branch. All right, okay. Well, here's, okay now we can clear a path, through. at least. Can take out one, but that that's in the way of some more materials. It yeah, but like. is it like materials you can use right now? Uh, hmm. yeah, good point. It looks like it's more scrap metal, and we have scrap metal already. We just right, need more, we just more have, sticks. Uh, one down. Watch out for that one. Uh, 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 it looks like you made it. All right. There you go. Cool. Okay. <sighs> okay. There's another refrigerator. I wonder if we can open that or not. I mean, so far we've been able to open every refrigerator in the game. Oh, hello. Oh, good. Ooh, that one was even stronger, too. Yeah. I, okay. <laughs> I like that that refrigerator actually had something worth it in it. Yeah. For no reason, but, you know. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, where are we heading next? Is that okay? So that ladder on that side. Back. It, I, I, that might just be another way to get up here. Okay. Um, oh, do we gotta oh, go in there? Stairs, yeah. Stairs, yeah. Okay. Just walk right past it. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get in here. 
And what do we got? Ugh. Then they throw save rooms at you really frequently. Too. Yeah, they do. Like that's the only way. Oh, hey, look at that. What do we got? Uh, a steak, steak bomb. bomb. Oh, he makes bombs too. Jesus. Yep. Apparently, he just he just makes bombs. <laughs> I hope we get enough of those champion effigies where we just start like one punching zombies. I want this to turn to One Punch Man. <laughs> man, th I mean, this is the closest to One Punch Man Resident Evil I think we'll ever get. <laughs> so, you know, you, you more, you're more or less getting the, the most the most of a wish that you could out of that. Tree branch? Yeah, one of those. Oh, shit. That was easy. Oh, and I can also say that uh, in just this tiny little bit of... Uh, of um, a tiny little bit of of uh, of village so far, uh, you uh, the 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 difference in like uh, the variety of enemy types is already fucking extremely like like it's already a lot of different stuff really quickly. That is good because that is one of the few problems that this game really suffers from. Is there's only a handful of different creatures. All right. All right, come at me one at a time got amazing fucking like antagonist characters that these zombies are I think they're kind of cool too it's just that that's all there is right there needs to be more kinds of zombies yeah like I think if there were a bunch of different ones and this was just one of them <laughs> wow that, that, that crawfish help, healed you for, your, for a lot and where do you think you're going finisher <laughs> whoa like a mortal combat fatality I mean, Joe could be a Mortal Kombat character. At this point, I could absolutely see him just fucking, like, smashing up Sub-Zero. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be, that'd be a cool spot for a... For, for a, guest a guest character. character. Yeah, yeah it'd be completely out of left character. field. Why not? Let's see. I'm picking up so many critters, too. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that door looked like he would have been able to open it, even. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why he felt the need to do that, but whatever. Stairs for us to get back up with. So, like, in case we fall off, I guess. Yeah. So I don't really see much reason to be down there yet. Yeah, I think it's... Well, I think there might be... Oh, well, I guess there's some like that would be... That, that, that could be worth uh, risking it to get to Yeah. Get to Hello. Ah. Ah. God damn it. Fuck you. Wow, wow, okay, those things can actually get you. All of a sudden, the jumpy ones are the strongest. Yeah, <laughs> in the game. what the fuck? Considering that was, like, one of the ones that went down, like, super easy mm -hmm. with uh, with just Ethan. Ah, oh, fuck, we're back here? Yeah, Maybe we could... a little bit. I mean, these zombies aren't that big of a deal, but I wonder if, almost, if you could use that stake bomb on that one big group of them. Honestly, that's actually a very good place to use it. <laughs> Fucking weird little IED over here. Ah, oh, only one zombie. Oh, one by yourself. I'm not yeah, gonna just punch him. <laughs> the way it trips, there's all those Looney Tunes. The way it trips over itself. Too. Seriously. I like how its head came off because he stomped its leg. There we go. <laughs> Okay. I think that took care of all of them. Looks like it. Let's see. Uh, I don't have scrap yet, though. Yep, they're dead. Got a couple shotgun shells, I think. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, that's what we'll use on that little jumpy guy. Yeah, shotgun seems like the right answer to those. Fuck your door! <laughs> God, fuck your door, dude. Fuck you. That's right. Bitch. That was easy. That's the question of though, is do we want Are those to... spears worth it or not? Because there's Because like, definitely gonna be a bunch of gators will pop yeah. up once you get there. So you can't jump onto that platform from here. I honestly don't think we'll need it. Oh, it looks like he was just walking mining his own business. <laughs> I would kind of enjoy it if, if the zombie is after a little while. Like, all right, Joe, we don't want to fight you. 
Oh Ooh. shit, there's one behind you. It's one of the jumpy ones, too. Ah, shit. Oh fuck, you're dead. That's not good, that did work, though. Yeah, at least you got the health out of that. <laughs> just bunches through their heads like a Mortal Kombat character. I almost wish you could like pull their spines out through their throats or something. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. You go first. Uh, well, he ripped he ripped the uh, uh, swamp thing's head off. True. I always enjoy uh, seeing Mortal Kombat fatalities in first person. Right. Oh, there you go. There's another centipede. From there, some scrap okay, metal. Let's see. Okay, another spear. God, this is the weirdest fucking shit. <laughs> I almost wonder, since it looks like Jack has a little bit of mutation going on, if maybe that's the why, reason he's got, like, super strength. Possibly. I, I honestly... I mean, I, you Joe, get the little Jack. veins, but at the same time, I honestly think he might just... Just be this ridiculous? Yeah, I, I really think he might be. Because, I mean, I guess that's the thing with, like, Jake, right, and, um... And Six is... He was... Part of the idea was he was... He, because he was Wesker's kid, he had... He had some of it, right. Oh, shit, behind you. Oh, oh shit. shit. They love to sneak up on you when you're punching one of them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you just ingest the centipede and you're good as new. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't even look like he chews them either. <laughs> Eats like a duck. Oh fuck. At least none of these zombies have like thrown you into the water yet. That's true. That would suck. Going somewhere. Going somewhere, biatch. Alright, yeah, you're dead. Alright, so stay the fuck down. <laughs> I think they're still alive. <laughs> He's eating them when they are fucking alive. <laughs> and I, I feel bad for the for the critters in this. Yeah, Joe is like an apex predator. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You think you can spear it? Yeah. They're fast and skittery. Oh, shit, wow. Okay. It's like the javelin gun in Dead Space. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're not quite dead, huh? <laughs> Just it. stuff another crayfish in your mouth. Oh, that one's not quite dead, either. I guess these spears have some limits. Just making sure you are dead. You're, yep, yep, I got him most of the okay. way. Got him most of the way. It was interesting, uh, it was an evil village when it showed up. Uh, uh, did not have the steel book with it that I, uh, that I, like, got order? ordering at the spot, or specifically for ordering at the spot. What? Well, that's a ripoff. Uh, I think it's shipping separately. Oh. I just find it weird that they would even ship it separately, you know? Yeah, it seems kind of pointless, but like, whatever. Like, why even... Is there, what is the point of this? Whatever. Uh, in case you gotta take a shit. I think that's where one of the zombies was hiding. Oh, that makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. It is surprising how cool those steel books actually are. Some of them are really awesome. Like, I remember when those, those first were like a thing, I was like, oh, it'll be kind of gimmicky, but then when I actually saw one, I was like, oh, those are actually badass. Yeah, they're, they're kind of they're kind of nice. They're kind of nice. Healed back up the rest of the way. All right, where are we going to punch out next? Is this going to end with Mike Tyson just beating the shit out of us? <laughs> right, they put, do a new Mike Tyson, it's Joe Baker's punch out. <laughs> <laughs> the new game that they put out. Oh, Ooh, great, like a graveyard. A graveyard somewhere else, somewhere nearby. That's not, not ominous at all. I guess that's where all the zombies were coming from. Well, it's definitely, the mold is here. Yeah. So. I do. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, this is Resident Evil. Sometimes, like it would, it was, it wasn't. Like this feels like silly in the just the right way, you know? Yeah, this this is just Resident Evil at its weirdest, pretty much. Oh great! This is pizza. <laughs> Does this guy have support, or is it just a puker? Oh, oh he's got support. A bunch of them. Oh god. Yeah, it's a good thing he checked. Well, they still hit me. <laughs> uh, um, well, we got throwing throwing spears. Nice. Hopefully, there aren't too many more gators that you got to fight. I think we might be out of the water uh, part of the area. Oh. oh, you never know. They could be like terrestrial great gators. What? That used to be a thing millions of years ago. Fair, that's true. Yeah, you know, there were there were uh, crocodiles with hooves, and they'd fucking like run down like horses and shit. Crocodiles with hooves? Yes, that was a thing. Millions of years ago, like shortly after the dinosaurs died out. Alright, that's all the spirit we have. Fortunately, I think that, that took him down. Almost. Got him on his knees, though. <laughs> oh, man, not, not quite. quite dead, huh? Yeah. And he likes to throw up. Really, really, really likes throwing up. Okay. That's He's quite a nice. different strategy here. <laughs> Do we owe any more, like, am ammunition of any kind here? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, circle them. That's a good idea. Circle strafe. Circle strafe. Yeah, that work. Go. Get away from the body. Get away from the body. Oh, that's right. I forgot to explode. There we go. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, crocodiles. I mean, they used to be able to do all kinds of ecological niches they can't do today. I mean, you had, like, tree crocodiles. You had, like, fucking, uh, running crocodiles. At one point, you had these... What the fuck? Oh, it's that shit again. Hello. Didn't know you were a church-going man. Like, how we caught his punch and then he caught our punch. We were, like, almost evenly matched with this thing. Are we gonna tear his head off again? Oh, that's his real head. That's Jack. Oh shit! What? <laughs> yeah, he even even that fucking injection that Ethan gave to him. That wasn't enough. Was still not quite enough. All right, that's a cool twist. What the fuck? Was he burying us? That's why I want Zoe. I guess it's because he's still kind of following him. Yeah, it's still commands. his daughter is trying to protect her. I guess. Because I believe there, or maybe he, because I think at this point, this like he and Ethan are on the boat. I think at this point. Oh. Already. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, we're going the uh, Dean and Supernatural route here. <laughs> Uh, man, coffin, ocean, dust. <laughs> <laughs> man, I kind of want a t-shirt that says that. That would be an amazing shirt. What the? I guess it. How do we get out? I guess uh, it crashed and it was just a shitty and rickety enough that it didn't really stay together. Well, I guess you can't count on a zombie to have uh, good handiwork. What's yeah, we're like the older, even tougher brother. <laughs> yeah, it really just kind of broke apart. Apparently he's been doing this to multiple people, though. Or yeah. something, I don't know, something's going on. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Fucking coffin island over here. We lost all of our uh, stuff, too. Oh, there's a bunch of those umbrella boats. Yep. Get better look at that logo, too. Super. Yeah? <laughs> Are we going to show up to this fucking base camp where, like, these soldiers with machine guns and helicopters couldn't fight off the zombie army? And we're just gonna punch everything to death. Yeah, 
Oh, God, this is possibly. ridiculous. That might be. That might be what happens. I'd kind of like to see him punch out a helicopter. That'd be awesome. Oh shit! Ah, that's actually somewhat actually dangerous. Supposed to, yeah. Gotta punch your way through there. It's like a metal door. Yeah, we can't. We actually can't punch our way oh, through. Oh, okay. I'm I'm surprised. Like that time, we actually did need to run away. It's very rare. Well, not anymore. We do. Iron Man. Do we? Punch we have a power glove. <laughs> well, like you, you, uh, you picked. You noticed that when he was in the cover. Image. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was like a cyborg arm, but I guess it's like a fucking like power fist. Yeah, it's really like an Iron out. Man. Uh, uh, oh God. Like prototype Iron. Oh, it's even got like a Jarvis in it. It does. Can we shoot repulsor rays? No. But we can fucking vibrate the thing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Great, now we are just one punch, man. <laughs> this is just absurd. And now this is Jump the Shark now. I knocked Two at once? Over. Yep, both at once. <laughs> And then that's how you also get through the metal door. I see. I won't lie, I'd enjoy an entire game with just this character. Right, though? I was kind of hoping, like, a gator would pop out and you just kind of, like, like fucking punch its guts out through its back or something. Also, listen to how, like, almost, like, heroic and Yeah, this is, like, some weird, like, Medal of Honor music all of a sudden. That uh, weird thing of, like, their family. Oh, that's cute. Like, it's Zoe Baker, fourth grade. Oh. Uh. God, this is strange. Surprised we didn't. Music. Also, like coming back in here and being like, "Oh, look at that! That's been boarded up. Hmm. Some of the stuff has been moved around. There's uh, some, some like almost like medical sheets. They're like medical like dividers." I see. Oh. Can we do it on half a charge or no? Yeah, no, we can. Okay. I just didn't let go of the button fast enough. That's been bolted. I'm surprised we can't punch through that, to be honest. <laughs> Flies across the room. This is absurd. This is completely absurd. <laughs> I, no, I just want a, a Resident Evil game to be like this fucking character in like a suit of power armor. <laughs> right, I mean like, hey, he's got the glove, man. Yep. Like, how much crazier would it really be? You know, like, how, would it really be that much more ridiculous? I said, get out of my way! <laughs> she punched out three at once? Yep. Jesus! Yep, and they are all dead. Oh, sweet, we can just ride the charge here. Oh, yeah, you can just fucking... Can we one-punch him? Oh. Ah, I think... Uh, you I can jack you up a little bit. You want one-punch, one-punch? Did that work? Not all oh, okay. the way, but, uh... It definitely jacked him up. Oh! No, I think it did no, work. No, yep, that did. Go. It did. <laughs> yeah, that's been moved back down again. Ooh, there's another. And again, we're getting more and more powerful the more of these we pick up, too, on top of. <laughs> Jesus. It's gotta be up ahead. Interesting, those little changes that have, like, the umbrella guys have basically, like, started to mm -hmm. clean the area up. Well, not anymore, they haven't. Well, yeah, not, not those ones, anyway. They kind of suck, I guess. Yeah, well, I think outside of Chris. Chris Redfield. They're they're just kind of red shirts. I uh, yeah. Slash stormtroopers. Yeah, I would yeah I would put no stake in them, uh, with the exception of. Jesus, what happened here? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of them got ripped apart, <laughs> probably by the Jack. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh shit. We yeah we did we were missing all of the. Uh, 
Uh, so now we're going to be even more absurdly powerful because we can combine all those effigies with the fucking yep. power glove. <laughs> Man, the no ooh, okay, so we made another bomb. That's how you do that. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see. And a crawfish. Just living in his helmet. Yep. Oh, we finished analyzing the tissue samples believed to be from Jack Baker. Cells exhibited extraordinary resilience to the physical and chemical damage the E series. Mutomycite secretes a telomerase like enzyme through the cell wall, causing abnormal activation of the ERK pathway to achieve forced cell division, quickly regenerating damaged tissue. However, the repeated cell division quickly leads to break down in the intercellular structure leading to the slowing slurry-like effect we've observed in the collected tissue samples. Our working hypothesis puts this down to the cells reaching their hay flick limit. Uh, not that the samples from the other family members, the wife Marguerite, the son Lucas, and the daughter, do not exhibit the same extreme regenerative properties. Huh. The symptoms may differ from subject to subject. So Jack is uniquely like strong. Um, product name developed to assist in the transport of heavy equipment and supplies. When worn, the wearer's nerve impulses are detected and synced with an actuator, allowing max output to exceed 50 horsepower. State of the art Jesus. shock absorbers reduce all recoil experienced by the wearer to zero. <laughs> I mean, that's like sci fi technology it's there. Absolutely sci fi technology. Or like science fantasy technology. Even. I mean, yeah, it's getting pretty ridiculous. All right, uh, time to make our way in the house. Or like they've even got these like. This fucking tent to go in. Yeah, like, this is... Yeah, like, Ethan, this is all set up, like, well, he's on the boat, I think, and then you don't even see much of this, because you come in... Cause you, well, because when you come back, you, uh, you come back to the guest house at the end of the game, too. You don't even come back to the main house. So, I like how every time this character sees Zoe, he has to go, Zoe! Zoe! You know she's, like, unconscious and can't do anything. Right. Zoe! Zoe! Wake up, wake up. It hasn't worked so far. Where'd you come from? Right. Just flip over the table and toss Zoe across the room. That's hilarious. Oh shit. Bring it on. I like this is the second punch up with this thing. Man, he's got a nasty ability there. In a way, he's kind of got like a power fist going on too. Right. Ah. I don't even know how I would dodge that, to be honest. <laughs> ah. I guess that's just a block, then. Maybe you should just try punching him instead of trying to do the power fist. Because he's so good at disrupting it. Oh shit, did not mean to use that. Oh well. I think you have more healing anyway. I, I did have a couple, yeah. There we go. Get some damage. Oh shit. Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> oh. Not good. Right, well, now I need the health. Yep. <laughs> this is the strangest fucking shit. Ah, damn it, a bitch. Almost had him there too. Uh, I might I might die the first time. I I may, I may die this first time. We're out of healing. Yeah. Shit. Whoop. Not dead yet. Not yet. No, oh, now we are. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> God, no, this is yeah. silly. <laughs> it is right. It's a. Uh, it's uh Yeah. No, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. 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 <laughs> now that that should be a, the subscriber Zoe, uh, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> You're coming with me, Zoe. <laughs> I like the who we knock each other back there in that moment.
This is like the closest we're ever gonna get to a first person Mortal Kombat game. Using this fucking tentacle. Get that one. <laughs> so weird. Huh? Yeah, that helped. Charge, help <laughs> Punch him across the room. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was like even after that crazy boss fight, he still wasn't dead. Nope. It's like practically impossible to kill. The tentacle actually doesn't do that much damage when you block it. Now he's trying to trying to engage you at range here. I like he's even fucking trying to play defense mm -hmm. against this guy. <laughs> God, I, I, I kind of wish Ethan was like in around in some way to like comment on this because you know just like after all the hell. That, J that Ethan had to go through to fucking fight Jack. And then <laughs> this dude just comes in and just beats the shit out of him. Right, or at least it's like evenly matched. That was the last of our healing, wasn't it? I think so. Fuck. And he's going all out here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like something out of true blood. <laughs> oh man. Ah oh, fuck. Uh, I, I actually I don't even know if there is a way to defend against that because even when you're blocking, it still grabs you. Let's see. It's almost like he fucking does it like once you get him down to, you know. Just let me kill you. <laughs> oh uh, damn. Shit. I like how it just seems like he like jumped on your toes there, and that's why he died. <laughs> it's like fucking Gladiator. Like that's a fucking just such a ridiculous poster, too. Just you wait, Jack. So All right, third time's the charm. Sorry. Damn, if only we had more, <laughs> if only we had more healing items. I know that's the that's really kind of the only real issue. We do have that bomb, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, shit. Let's fucking use that. Yeah, let's use that. Why yeah, that should that help us out a bit. That bomb seems to have stunned him a little bit. <laughs> I got a lot of hits in there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that first stage down really quick. You remember me, right? You remember the time I broke your nose when we were kids? You remember when I told you you into the swamp? That's three fully charged shots we got on him, too. That's good. Don't let him do his suplex or whatever the fuck that is. God, it's hilarious seeing this hulking monstrosity just kind of bouncing around the room in a boxing pose. <laughs> Things are going much better so far. So far, yeah, we haven't even had to use a healing item yet. Uh. Yeah. Nice. Did we get him down again? We did. Alright. 
And we haven't even used the healing. Fuck item. you. Did you hear him say, oh, shut up? Right? He did, he, did, he did actually say that, didn't he? I mean, like, Jack still did have a fucking... Mostly, like, you know, his actual fight. I mean, Jack is still kind of in there. Yeah. Like, there's a weird kind of version of his personality. <laughs> Man, this I, I do think this would be a great live action movie idea if, if we had Nicolas Cage as like a fucked up zombie thing. Oh, some, shit, shit, oh no, fuck, I'm, we're at no, low I'm health dead. too. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, that was too bad because that was going really well. That yeah, was going really well. Weird. I also pretty sure. Oh. No. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe yeah, hurry. Oh, no. <laughs> Took him a second there to realize he was dead. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Lower the difficulty. No, 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 no. We're going to do this. We got this far on normal. Yeah. We can keep going on normal. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is the this is the end. This is the last okay. end of the, in the whole expansion right here. It's just this little fight. So we're, we're basically, we're just about to be done with it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not lowering the difficulty now. All right, let's pick up the healing items first. And equip the bomb. That really did help in that opening stage there. Oh yep, hi. <laughs> he looks in your, in your face, too. He really is like, come here, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Hey, get closer. Get closer. closer. There we go. And you, you could stun lock him there, so. Yeah. Charge. 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 Ah. Damn it, that was so close. Charge. Ah. See? There you go. Two. Yep. And... Now you should be able to wind it up for a... Oh, nope. Charge. There we go. Uh, you, you got a chance to punch him in the ass. <laughs> One, two. One more, it's kind of easy to dodge. No, not this time. I guess he does, he's not always the same pattern, I suppose. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is the silliest fucking thing. Come on, Jack, just go down. Ah, fuck. Yeah, where'd he go? Okay. There we go. Got a heal. Yeah. Well, at that point, we didn't have any healing items left last time, so hey. Ooh, oh, well, fuck. Well, I guess so, we got to heal again. Right. Well, at least we weren't, like, already at low health. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, I did less damage than I thought it would. Charge. Charge. Too slow, Jack. Oh, fuck. Jesus. 
Wait. Did we get him? We got him. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a work a fatality. <laughs> that was good. All right, now that is actually Jack dealt with. That's how he <laughs> dies. He just gets punched out. He gets in the top half of him exploded because he got punched with an Iron Man. Well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could you have ever foreseen nope. at the beginning of this game? <laughs> this is just... This has nothing to do with the rest of the game. It's completely different. Oh, man. Uh, my cup's off. What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> me. What is that? <laughs> she Seriously. She'd be fucking... Man, Joe could take those guys. Honestly, no. I think it's Chris is here to be like, you guys, stop it. <laughs> it's all right. It's so funny to me that they did his design this way only to like basically bring him. Yeah, that was a really big. Couldn't they have like put that through marketing first? You know, find out what people think about it before you make a finished product. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They, uh, like I said, they they did kind of redesign the the, the faces for like. Leon and Claire and Jill in the two and three remakes. So they, I, I wonder if that was all planned, and that is just that people didn't like the Chris one. Huh. Whereas they were okay with the other ones, but I don't know. You gotta know. Deep down somewhere. Does Zoe always have gray hair, or is that permanent because of the mutation? That's left over, so okay. even though they've cured her, there is still some permanent change. Okay. Which makes me wonder if she might not have some sort of... If she becomes, like, super-powered later, pretty much. Yeah, which, I mean, like, I am I am cool with that idea in the Resident Evil games. I, I'm, I'm all right with the idea. Yeah, you can do it right. It's just They just need to be a little more careful with it. than A lot less silly is the big thing. Granted, again, uh, again, Sherry with the super healing actually actually was one of the things about Six that I like. True. She gets fucking impaled with this giant fucking iron girder. Oh, so Ethan's, like, it was Ethan. Uh. to go back and get her, too, so. So Ethan, he, he, Ethan even still did the thing. That's good, that's good. Sh made sure Zoe got taken care of. Um... Which, you know, again, it's like, why the fuck do they even give you the choice in the first Again, right, it's because it only makes sense if it plays out this way. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but like, even, even like, yeah, she, Sherry gets impaled by this giant fucking girder, and, like, even in that moment, Jake, you know, actually being like, oh, shit, is she even going to heal for, is this bad enough that she might not? And he's like, <laughs> all right, come on, Supergirl. He even says that, like, uh -huh. like, I even like some of the dialogue between those two particular characters actually honestly if the whole game had been those that campaign i actually think it might have worked better what's an amg 78 i'm assuming some kind of gun oh, okay i mean i don't know if you could make all right joe any more overpowered all right all right so let's see we're just about to hit midnight here all right uh, we're at about an hour and 43 minutes for the actual stream do you want to start not a hero or do we want to just let's start it let's see what it looks okay. like uh, we'll start it, and then uh, tomorrow, we'll, we, can, we can do, like, in the morning, I think, this one, too. Okay. Um, All right, this is it. This is the last one, right? Yep, this is the last one. Once we're done with Not a Hero, we're done with... Uh, done with Resident Evil 7. Yep. All, uh, everything we can stream for this. And we'll be all set for eight. Hell Yeah. Lurking Fear, Chris Redfield, a high-profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bioterrorism crisis over his lengthy... Oh, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because the BS5 takes so... Fucking company? What? Is it ready? Oh, this is Lucas. Oh, shit. We don't play as him. It was just for the cutscene, but... I can't help you, man. We've got work to do. Man, that fucking wispy, terrible-looking beard. I know, right? Either shave or grow it out, Lucas. Right, like, probably, probably can't. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, but yeah, so Chris, so that's what the Chris expansion is. We're hunting Lucas down. 
Okay. Because that was the kind of the, yeah, the one the, loose end. Or, yeah. I guess Zoe and Lucas. I guess were kind yeah. of two. Yeah. Granted. No, no. He's the winner. He's been secure. Yeah. Alive and well, considering. I also think. Yeah. He's next on my list. Oh, actually, you know what? I think the Joe stuff was happening the following night. Oh. Yeah. So because this is happening immediately after. I see. And then the so this happens before the end of Zoe one. Okay. This is what Chris was doing yeah. during that, I guess. Well, all, basically, while well, all the other soldiers were setting up the the tents and the getting themselves studying killed, studying everything, and then getting killed. <laughs> All right, we got our little... Our helmet runs on MS-DOS. That's good to know. So, yeah, isn't it Oh, so, shit, we got, like, a, a proper HUD in this one. Yeah. This, this, this expansion actually feels like a first-person shooter, kind of. Huh. Well, their best wasn't very good to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so, like, we got... We got grenades. Grenades. We got, we got a fucking. We here. We got the machine gun with the fucking laser scope on it. And we got a pistol. Yeah. It's pretty standard FPS loadout. Uh, and then let's see. Let's read the stuff he's got in here. Uh, Operation Lurking Fear. Primary mission: Extract Lucas Baker. Uh, three threat profile molded alpha variant anti personnel traps Luke on and on. Due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield at the BSAA will act as a bioweapons specialist on missions. Huh. So he doesn't actually work for umbrella, this new umbrella. He like he's like a like a contractor. Almost. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So the BSAA is the organization he worked for in Resident Evil Five, the okay. like, global bioterrorism security thing. Um, recent intel has confirmed Lucas Baker is holed up in the mines near the Baker State. Expected associate of criminal organization The Connections, where oh. have confirmed, holds vital intel regarding said organization. Profile The Connections criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international oh, black market. Limited intel on size, market share, and members. They are the prime suspects implicated in the production and distribution of the E-Series bioweapons. Oh shit, this shit's leaking. E-Series model Evelyn is present and active at the Baker estate. Lucas C Baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on, on her activities. And then... Uh, for many of you, this is your first mission with us, so we wanted to make it clear what Umbrella is all about. Though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose <laughs> is to make amends for the atrocities per per perpetrated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated as a PMC oh, in shit. 2007. We will put a stop to not only anyone who is engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support those efforts as well. We made a mess, and now we have to clean it up. Uh, by keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess, and we want you to remember that you carry this responsibility with you in every mission. Well, they're definitely going to turn evil at some point. There's never a good PMC. Right. In fiction, anyway. Well, and, uh... Yeah, I... I mean, yeah, it's, uh... It's, un, it's not even really an... A, like, an umbrella hasn't even... It doesn't even, like, in the trailers and stuff for Village, hasn't even been, like, brought up, really. Like, you say, you see a symbol. You see the umbrella symbol at one point, and that's about it. Just kind of operating in the background, pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if that's going to change. If it does become a thing, it'll probably be in the third game where they really bring that up more. Oh, shit. Yeah, we even got, like, the ability to aim down the sights and shit down. Yep. <laughs> that was pretty good. And that's, you know... If the yeah, so if they're staggered, you can. Well, all right. Well, that's effective. Yep. I, I guess uh, he's been taking some lessons from Joe. Right. Well, don't forget this is the guy that punched boulders in. Uh, that is a good point. A volcano. <laughs> God, that is one of the silliest sequences in all of Resident Evil. It 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 is. It really is. I still love like Wesker fucking like grabbing rockets out of the air and like tossing them back at you and shit. <laughs> I think this is that man. Like if Resident Evil Five, if the whole thing had been more like that last boss fight, I would like Resident Evil Five more. Yeah. Because I, I honestly think part of the reason that I do enjoy the Six, even though I know it is terrible, is because it's so here. ridiculous that I can't help but have some fun. Let's hope so Lucas has been doing some of his own experiments. Oh, good. Those can't possibly go wrong. No. No. Why, why, why would you I do mean, that? Lucas just seems so uh, so stable and uh, yeah. responsible. He's, yeah, he's fine. He's he would never fine. do anything wrong. No, he's, he's cool, man. <laughs> 
I like how we just have like a shitload of grenades too. Well, I assume they're gonna throw zombies at us like crazy at some point, so Yeah, definitely more numerous, um numerous uh stuff. We got a computer. How many laptops does this family own? Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking. Oh shit. Here. I got news for you. What? what? That's not gonna happen. Now you can try to take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. Lucas, no! Oh shit! You don't follow me, and I'll bounce your head off the ceiling. The same goes for your little soldier brains too. Adios. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting. I'm glad we're getting more Lucas. I know he's such a fun, fucking like ridiculous character. And uh, now oh, uh, the air is being poisoned. All right. We can, only, we can only be in it for for so long. Yeah, it's a limited amount of time. Jesus fucking Christ. What does that do? That might be a... Looks like you're clear of any contamination. Oh, restore health. Okay, so that's just a... Things more no like military style health pack. Cool. Understood. Just be careful. Man, is Chris gonna lose an arm too? <laughs> I mean, arms and legs fly all over the place in this game. It's, you know what's also interesting too is Chris's voice here. They change that too? Uh, well, it's, yeah, because, it, well, part of the thing is it sounds like, Chris sounds, um, like, he sounds kind of younger again, or he almost seems like he's, like, the same age as he was in, like, let's say, five uh -huh. here, like, but maybe with a slightly different face, right? But whereas in, uh, in Village, he actually is as realistically older as he would be based on when the first game in the series came out. Like, he is, like, in, clearly in his 50s now. Okay. And his voice is a bit deeper, and he sounds older. And the three-year difference between if they weren't, I wouldn't be here. Working with umbrellas gonna take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult, and to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. Oh, that's reassuring. Yeah. Let's just focus on the mission, and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. Man, it's weird they have this fucking like. Giant mine under their house. Yeah, right. <laughs> like this is like some sort of company was down here doing shit. That well. Okay, so we got we got a green door, we got a red door, and I believe we have a blue door. All right. And a clown face. We need something to activate that, and then. Oh, that looks like something you see out of Dead Space. I right. <laughs> Fucking airlock with some sort of giant. Undead Hydra behind it, probably. You know, I hope that after, like, some... About, ooh, hey, look at this. Yeah, we got those again. Apparently there's some... Yeah, so there's max health. Stabilizer. Stabilizer reloads me. Okay, so this is the same stuff as it is in the main game. Um, Alright, we've got a save for save. Thing Anything here. good in here? Okay. Nope. What is... Thor's hammer. I don't know what that does. Accuracy is sacrificed for a large increase in firepower. Okay. I guess we have a new... We can swap out our gun sights. Huh. Cool. So it's slightly less accurate, but stronger. Okay. It's interesting. Interesting. All right. I'm going to do a save here, because this one is a, maybe slightly longer. Okay. Um, all right. Well, how, how, are you, how are you feeling? you want to keep going? Yeah, let's go a little bit further. See what we got. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember what is like a particular order of which which of these you're supposed to do. I'm trying to remember which one. Can you do like any of them or you, you can you can go into any of them, but then there's like environmental hazards that you kinda I think it, I think the red one might be I think the red one's first. Okay. Um, but then there's like environmental hazards that you You're better off going certain routes than others. Yeah. Yeah, he looks okay. Find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Oh, he's dead. 
<laughs> just fucking pop him in the face right now to save everybody the trouble. Right. I mean, you know, I feel bad for the dude, but like, what are you gonna do? Exactly. I also like his in Resident Evil 6, which I think we could spoil that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking old as shit now. Yeah, but, if, if um, you haven't played Resident Evil 6 by now, you probably aren't going to. Uh, yeah, well, especially considering it's not. It's ridiculous. Good. But like, Chris does, he, Chris is like, what twice in that game his entire like squad gets fucking just wiped out from scratch <laughs> hey boys oh you like you only need like one bullet for these things right it's like I mean yeah he's, he's got the I mean that boulder punch man true yeah, what, what, what chance are these things gonna stand when you fucking punch boulders <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Just executing them. Still not as ridiculous as uh Joe, but uh This feels more like Resident Evil like four. It does. Ish. You know, like a little more like Granted I don't think uh Ethan in uh eight is capable of this. Uh, even still. No, he, he definitely seemed like he was more in line with how Ethan generally is in, this, in these games. In this first one, rather. Did, did that kill in one hit? Okay. No, but... Two, two hits. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not bad. It's a good rifle. I was like how he holds his knife. Yeah, more combat yeah. style. Ooh, what's in there? Uh, Selkie. Which we're gonna hold. We're gonna wait just a quick moment. Not sure why you'd put weird models in there, but whatever. We also have a key for that, too. Okay. Let's just look around everywhere real quick first. There we go. Jesus. Hey, there's a gear. They really are going to have to throw a lot of zombies at you to be a threat. Yep. Well, I mean, I like that. I like that it feels... Chris, uh, you know, Joe Baker was just a ran kind of a random new character. Just kind of I mean, Chris him. should be kind of a badass. I mean, he's like... He's been at this for so long. Yeah. And he's got, like, you know, proper, like, military gear and training and shit. Right, right. I mean, and he's survived how many of the... I mean, <laughs> from... I mean, again, he was punching boulders and yeah. fighting a Matrix fucking supervillain. Ah, fuck. It would feel weird if, if he was struggling with this. Oh, uh, but we don't have a handle. Yeah, you need a little cool crank or something. Yeah, we need a crank. I need crank. <laughs> Neuro, Neuro stun grenade. grenade. Also, here's the crank. <laughs> God, I need some crank. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, fucking stun grenades now. Like, So you can just run in and just punch a bunch of zombies to death. Now we got a puker. Boys. I think again these are slightly more difficult to deal with. Oh shit. Oh yeah, they're like albino. Oh fuck. They're like white mold. Alright, so I think, yeah, right now we actually can't deal with that yet, so we got the key. We can't kill that thing yet? We, yeah, we, we need a different type of weapon. Okay. Like, yeah, these like white ones are more just invulnerable. Shit. But we have the key at least so we can now. So we can watch that guy die. Yep. <laughs> Let's face it, none of those dudes are getting out of here. You know. Let's face it, none of those dudes are getting out of here. Well, I mean, we saw one get its head blown off already. Right. This is the second one, so. I mean, I guess third time could be the charm, but no way in hell is this guy living. I feel like if they were going to live, they're going to escape by themselves. Right. Everything's all right now. <laughs> so fuck you, Chris. I'm just a bait. Why didn't you say something, you bitch? What? Right. Oh, shit. Take the filter. I'm my mask. Hurry. This is also how we get some of the upgrades. Rooms is like filled with the gas. I see. So. 
I'm dead either way. <sighs> Slight metro, maybe just a teensy bit of a Metroidvania kind of style, almost. <laughs> See, this is what I was saying. Just, you just fucking pop them in the head, and then yeah. you know, be better off that way. I love the, I love Lucas's saw traps, though. They are I pretty really fucking do. cool. Um, why is it taking so long? Stop apologizing to the corpse and put the fucking thing on, you idiot. <laughs> you can say sorry after you're not dying. Right. He's got a good sense of how long it would take, I guess. Alright, so now we can walk around in uh, the, these poison areas infinitely, and we don't, okay. have to, don't have to concern ourselves with getting out in a Fuck you, amount Lucas. of time. Alright, so that's everything we can do in here for right now, at least. And Which door is next? Uh, I honestly don't remember. I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. <laughs> Uh, All right. <laughs> you know, I have to say that playing um, playing a uh, village has made me like. I mean, you know, I want to see all the village. I want to see like how crazy and awesome this is. That is, but it has an else in another part made me like that much more excited to see what uh, uh, what that remake of four is going to look. Oh like. yeah, this village calls back to four in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Um. And, and just looking at what they've done with it, updating some of that stuff, I, I just, I really feel like, I, I really feel like it's like, it's both its own game, but it's also an amazing proof of concept for like, just how kind of, what kind of cool improvements they can, they can give to 4. Yeah, I mean, it is amazing to watch these games evolve. Like, they've come a long way. Right? Well, shit, and a long way from... From from one and a long way from, from oh, six. Oh, landmines! This is God. This place is fucking weird. It's like a catacomb with like weird mine shit around it. Oh, oh is that a puker? Is that a, one of the white ones or is that a yeah, regular that's a white one? one? Oh fuck! I'm open to suggestions. Uh, ramrods. Alright, we can't fight that thing, I guess. Uh, so I guess this area is off limits still. Yep. Until you get your damn ramrods. Yep. Ram a rod right up its ass. <laughs> Maybe you could dock the ramrods together. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and honestly, that's more alien and monstrous than anything in this game. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> that's fucking true. Alright, so I guess we'll try the blue, uh, blue door then. Blue door. That's a good. That's a good burger place around here. Blue door. Yeah, Blue Door Pub. Oh yeah, Great the pub. Okay. Place. Oh, what? 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 We need night vision. What okay, the? so we can't really go in there either. All righty then. Huh. Isn't there like another door? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Uh, well, then how are we supposed to get past any of the shit? There might be. Hmm. Might be. Were we supposed to go back around that other zombie? Maybe. Yeah, but we, that, this one is so slow. We might be able to make our way around it because it's a big area. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not like the other place where you get locked in the closet, pretty much. Yeah. So let's. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try going back down. Uh, back down the elevator. Let's see him. Let's see, because. There was definitely more stuff down there, or like another place to go, I thought. I just, uh... The other areas are locked off, so that's gotta be the only way you can really yeah. go. Yeah, because, because, I mean, you have to have that night vision thing to go in there at all. Yeah. Because that was like a fucking, like, fire, like a tr fucking, like, fire trap on the floor. Yeah, if you can't see them, you can't dodge them, and then you're dead. Yeah, 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 keep your pants on. Yep. Yeah. I know, I heard you, bro. Yes, I know, you're hungry. Sorry, but you can't eat me. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I mean, even if it did eat you, it would just puke you back up, so I don't know what the point would be. It's true. If you're throwing up that much, you just don't eat. Right. 
Oh, but we don't have a... Yeah, we can't get through there, can we? Hmm. Uh, was there anywhere else you could go? I don't think so. Oh, this bites. Um. Hmm. Well, okay, maybe, maybe the group, maybe if we do, if we play, play manu the maneuvering game correctly. You're supposed to just kind of squeeze that past that one in the hallway. Yeah, maybe that's all it is, because I don't think. Because you know, we we have to, we need a key for that room. We can't go in there. Here, yeah, and there's not. Yeah, that's that. definitely a different area. Too bad, because that room looks fun. That's where that key that that's probably where that door leads into. Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right, so let's try the green area again, and we'll we're just gonna have to try and see what we can do to dance around them. Yeah. Try and squeeze because... past that thing like a. Like a fucking. This makes me think of uh, Michael's uh, school principal. <laughs> the dude who was so fat that he had to turn sideways in order to go through doorways. Yeah, I mean that's gotta that's gotta suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's just this has gotta be just a not fun way to have to just. You'd have to crab walk through every door you see. Yeah. Yeah, man. I would not. I would not want to be that guy. I would not want to be that. Guy. Very unfortunate. All right, let's check this out. See if we can, see if we can uh, just get around around these guys. Because I do do vaguely think I might rem I think vaguely think I remember this being the area that you get the ramrods in, and well, if you get them in here, let's then. keep an eye out for any areas that look like they might be. You know, you kind of squeeze through. And that's locked too. So far, I'm not seeing any. This area isn't great. It's kind of space in here. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Uh, well, I don't know where he went, but whatever. If he wants to just go away, that would be great. Yeah, right. I'd take that. Probably hiding down there. Yeah, we didn't get this far before. Yeah, no. Nope. And there's another coin. We can get our health up a little bit more. Or, well, eventually. One more. More grenades. There's stun grenades. Uh, that thing's not a big deal. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. That's, that's him. Yeah, that's definitely I but, thought that was one of those crawly ones. But we do have a. Uh, you materialized in the wrong spot, dumbass. Yeah. Uh, okay. So far, so good. God, this is like one of those fucking. Draugr crypts in Skyrim. Yikes. There's enough space there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's dark in here. So I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I think so. More shit. Incendiary grenades. grenades. Shotgun, shotgun ammo. Do we even have a shotgun? Uh, I don't think we do. Anti-regen ammo, Sweet. ram rods. So that's what those are. These rapid-acting uh, mycetosic rounds, or ram rods for short, have been developed specifically for combat against fungus-based bioweapons. The bullets extremely toxic on impact that not only rapidly destroys fungal cell membranes, but also prevents regeneration of lost tissue. One shot will allow for normal methods of attack to be effective thereafter. Okay. So we can hit him with one of those. And, that hey, and there's the night vision thing, too. All right, we got everything in here. Uh, the device adds night vision functionality to the Umbrella HMD system. The device uses image intensification to help us, the user see better in low light environments. It allows the user to see light rays not visible to the naked eyes. It's just a little bit. That's candy. Alright. Alright, now we can just nuke those zombies. Let's see, and I believe, yep. It's for the pistol? Yep, it's for the pistol. So Alright. We'll, uh, so one ram around and then just follow it up with whatever. Yeah. It's not like a limited time thing, is it? Or is it? No. Okay, good. No, I don't think so. Sweet. Oh, oh what the hell? <laughs> what was that? There is a turret up there now that was not there before. What? what, what why is there a turret? Uh, Did the zombie put a turret there? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought so, but. Uh, 
How do you deal with the turrets? Do you have to just go around them? You might. I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm remembering correctly, but you might be able to. Uh, Use grenades on them? Uh, oh, well, I was going to say, if you get behind them, you may be able to, like. Oh, deactivate them that way? That makes sense. But, uh. I mean, I guess Lucas would come down here with turrets, but I don't know where he's getting them. Right, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, uh. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. That should be on. Up should be on, right? I think. Mm. I think they got, like, you gotta turn the switches from red to green or something. Yeah, because now that one's... Oh, never mind. Well, it seems like whichever one you're, like, up against, they all... Uh, yeah, I can't see very well in here. So maybe they all gotta be down? I'll try, I'll try that down. I thought maybe the middle one. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Not exactly sure what that did, but... I think it only has some lights. Oh, fuck. Like fucking face huggers? Yeah, like it's uh, it's like the little things in Dead Space would be, be like all the like tiny little like bastards that come at you. Jesus. Ah. Get out of here. Oh shit! There's a ton of them. I assume they're gonna keep coming. You gotta wait for the world's slowest elevator. Right. right. Uh, Get out of here. They really are just like those fucking things. Oh, no. no. Okay, good. Open up, you son of a bitch. Okay. Whew. Oh, I guess that's not a machine gun. That's totally a shotgun. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, that's a shotgun. It's an auto shotgun. shotgun. Okay. I didn't know that. I guess we probably should have been using the pistol for that before. Yeah, I guess the shotgun, the shotgun did have a spread to where you could get a few of them at once, though, so... True. Oh, there he is. Use okay. your, uh, weird pistol thing. Did that just kill it? Yeah, yes it did. Alright. Some more shotgun ammo. Can't complain. Got any more of those things around? One of them turrets. Luckily, they really are just kind of a... Ah, there he is. Oh, cool, you can you can use them? Yeah, you can use them that way, just like... Doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh shit, what the f- oh, it's because of- god damn it. Yeah, he stood up, I guess. Did they get him? Yep, they got him. Okay, good. Alright. Those were just some regular ones, so... Yeah, we got one more of our... our big fat friends in here somewhere. Yeah. Alright, let's switch to the regular, just so I don't use it on accident. And... Okay. So far, so good. Alright, we're back up to... Thank that was weird. Regular guys. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Didn't kill it, though. I think we were just a little further away than I meant to. Those turrets up ahead? Oh, oh shit, 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 oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh god. Why? What are you supposed to do here? Grenade him? Uh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh well. Um. There we go. Alright, I do want to see. 
I can get just close enough to grab this. Where is that? Ah. Good. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down this way, because this is not where we came from at the very least. Okay. I think this is just about making your way. Back out of this area. Oh, shit. Now that we have a... Where the fuck did Lucas get all these turrets? Well, he was working with this organization. Oh, that's there. right. I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> took out one behind me. Cool. Lucas was, yeah, he was working with this uh, connections organization. Apparently they gave him, like, his own fucking arsenal. Got one of these things over that's there. The right one. Yep. Yep. White Walker. Fuck you, Night King. Did just as much as the Night King. I guess it really just kind of... <laughs> Fucking push the other one out of the way. God, I do enjoy that. Still not quite as fun as, as, the, as the Joe, though, stuff. No. <laughs> So now we get, yeah okay so it's really it's just it's just going through all these all our this, all our series of doors on our way back up. Okay, just taking the long way. Just taking the long route. Sweet. All of the doors that were locked when we you know came down through the first time. What the hell? That was weird. Probably gonna blow up. Oh damn it! I thought I could run past it fast enough. Yeah, that one's like a suicide bomber. Yeah, he like serves no purpose. Uh, fuck. Think. Gonna have to use one of your one of your rounds Last here. One, yeah. Hopefully you'll get more. <laughs> Did you punch through him? Not sure if this yeah, nope, they both Oh, oh no. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, why didn't you give me the opportunity to I guess maybe the ones with the things on their arms are more resistant to that. I was really hoping that you'd be able to punch out two at once. Oh fuck. Oh, I guess we can do that. There's another one behind you. Oh shit. Alright, here's the exit. Okay, good. Hmm. Also, no, uh, no key for this yet either. Damn it. The nice thing about this one is that you keep going back to the central like hub between the three doors yeah. fairly frequently, so gives you a good little save point pretty much. Do we have a heavy more health or are we out? Uh I think I used all of the health we had actually. Ah oh, shit. Um, health in this one seems a little sparse. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we started out with a lot, but then as it's gone on we haven't like really found any more. A lot of it, yeah. That's a pisser. Damn, if we had one more of those coins, at least we'd get some health out of that. Yeah, and I, I think if you get a health upgrade, it like... It, it heals you. It heals you all the way, yeah. Alright, well, I, again, I'll, I'll just ask, how are, you, how are you feeling? Do you want to keep going? Do you want to say, let's finish it tomorrow? I'm getting kind of sleepy, so yeah. Right. Well, hey, that's over two hours at this point. Yeah. Um, that's, I feel like that's a pretty solid put some solid time in hell yeah uh, we honestly the last uh part <laughs> that we if we if we do like the last part like in the kind of middle of the day tomorrow uh it's probably it's probably gonna last us like a half hour less than an hour okay it will take less than an hour to finish this so sweet uh, i'm thinking like 11 12 somewhere around there maybe yeah it depends on when i'm awake i mean yeah, that too but uh so, somewhere in the middle of the day at least sure uh, sure early not evening anyway not like right late, right late at night, like right now but uh yeah, fuck it. All right, this uh, good shit. Like I, my 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 uh, I think my my sign off lately has been if you don't if you don't hate what you see, <laughs> if you don't hate what you see, follow me. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. Yeah, if you don't hate what you see right now, see it. We'll keep watching and see if you'll find something you hate later. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> that's a, that's about as good of a sign off as any.